Choosing the best zero calorie sweetener. There's a lot of zero calorie or less than one calorie per tablespoon sweeteners on the market. Aspartame, Equal, uh, Sweet and Low, and each of these are based on different products. Aspartame, Saccharin, Sucralose, Selvia, and then they have their, you know, the chemical name and the, the brand name. Splenda is one of the more popular ones now in soda. And that's because it has very little aftertaste and it is easy to work with and it's good for marketing because it's made from sugar but it isn't sugar anymore. And the new alternative that just got approved for use in diet sodas is Truvia. And I'm actually pretty excited about Truvia because Truvia is a natural plant alcohol and it's found in Stevia, which is a plant that is somewhat rare and a little hard to grow domestically, but it can probably get there. Stevia, being a natural source, has fewer side effects in humans. Um, it's not good for animals because it is a alcohol, and it's not the kind of alcohol like, hey, it's going to get me drunk. I mean, it could if you had enough of it, but in the quantities that you're going to consume it as a sugar, it is approved for humans and doesn't cause bad things. But the interesting thing about stevia is that because it is all natural, it's not highly processed. And it varies a little bit from packet to packet how sweet it will be. It's not perfect yet. They're working on it. And if you get the liquid version of stevia, which is not Truvia, but if you get the liquid versions of Stevia, you get a more consistent flavor across things. Splenda, that's made from sugar, is highly processed. They treat it with chlorine and a whole bunch of other things in order to make it so that only the essence that makes sugar sweet is still there. <clears throat> As a result, you have the chemical part, the part of the chemical that reacts with your taste buds, but you don't have the parts of the chemical that carry the energy. You've dropped the hydrocarbons. The disadvantage to Splenda is, besides being highly processed, it doesn't break down in the water table. It doesn't break down in, in you. If you eat Splenda, it basically passes through your body, out your pee, into the water table, into the oceans, and in the oceans it causes all sorts of problems. Microorganisms can't process Splenda, so it kills a lot of them. And certain animals don't process it correctly, so it causes mental retardation in fish. And that may not seem like a big issue for us. Fish are already kind of dumb to begin with. They don't need to be any dumber than they already are. So that's my big beef with Splenda. The problem with almost all zero-calorie sweeteners is that they don't work for baking. Uh, the things that make sugar work in baking are the fact that it caramelizes, it, it browns, um, and that it can be consumed by yeast in order to cause leavening or rising or, you know, the little carbon bubbles that make bread fluffy instead of flat like a tortilla. So you can't use a zero calorie sweetener for bread because the yeast can't eat it, so there's nothing for them to eat, so they don't produce carbon dioxide so they don't leaven the bread. Um, and then you can't caramelize stevia or splenda. So when you're making like blueberry muffins that you'd like to have that nice bit of sugar on top that caramelizes a little bit so it's a little crunchy, that doesn't work. Um, it also, things don't brown right. So when you make cookies with them, they don't Brown, so they don't ever have that kind of crunchy flavor until the point that they're actually dry. Uh, so you always have to use the right amount of sugar, and when you're doing baking stuff, sometimes you have to have parts of the mix that have sugar and parts of the mix that don't have sugar so that you can get the consistency that you want. So baking with zero calories still sucks, but I think Truvia is the future of zero calorie sweeteners. It is definitely my favorite and it's all natural, which I like.